Good evening. Tonight, the world is responding to a disaster in an island nation as we are still learning just how bad the situation is in the Philippines, though it's now clear it's worse than we first knew. Typhoon Haiyan hammered the islands with 200 mile per hour winds and a two story high storm surge. It killed more than 5,000 people and left millions homeless. November 2013. Super Typhoon Yolanda, or Haiyan, made multiple landfalls in the Philippines, and with it, multiple casualties in a war against the forces of nature. First major hurricane to make U.S. landfall in 12 years bears down on the Texas coast. Those who decided to leave have already gotten out. Hurricane Harvey is ripping into the Gulf Coast. Residents of Texas, Mississippi, and Louisiana now bracing for the worst. Of the roughly 50,000 homes in the Florida Keys, 90% are estimated to be damaged or destroyed by Hurricane Irma. Irma seemed to inflict special wrath on some unlucky communities. Officials say at least eight people are dead and more than 25% of the homes are gone in the Keys. September 2017, Hurricanes Harvey and Irma Two cyclones of impeccable power wreaked havoc to unsuspecting cities in the United States. What's surprising is Harvey's unexpected plot twist, turning from a simple sea breeze into a freak of nature. These storms are getting worse each year. Something's wrong with our planet. Something others simply attempt to dismiss. But the facts are already obvious. Our world is changing, and it isn't for the better. A few days ago, I recorded myself riding on a tricycle back home, the road still damp from the earlier downpour. While on the tricycle, I passed a lot of things in the neighboring communities. Let's rewind that. Factories lining the riverbanks and roads, check. Dump sites beside the river. Check. Rivers becoming a disgusting, murky mess. Cross. Lots and lots of crosses. Come to think of it, that very river and its cousin, the Marilao River, are amongst the dirtiest in the world. The Philippines, as well as many nations around the globe, are threatened by our own incompetence and irresponsible management of both resources and waste materials. From land to water to air, this trend has been a disappointing one. Carbon dioxide emissions from over a hundred thousand years past have never gone up 300 parts per million, but now it's going beyond 400 and still climbing. Global temperatures have significantly increased over the past centuries Sea levels have risen due to the melting of the ice caps. And when sea temperatures rise, hurricanes and typhoons gain more power, ravaging entire countries and nations. Local weather has become more erratic. Just a few minutes ago, it was raining so hard. As you can see, the clouds over there, they just went past overhead. And basically, there's still more clouds over here, but Earlier, it was raining so hard, I can't even go back inside. It's raining once again. I just said earlier, it's sunny already. And it stopped. I mean, come on! And climate models aren't as accurate as they used to be. The world's climate is changing rapidly. And we must take action now. And so... The Youth for Environment in Schools organization of the Valenzuela City School of Mathematics and Science, whose mission is to advocate awareness and establish foundations and programs in environmental preservation, dreams to create a world of peace and harmony as we attempt to bring up the issues of our beautiful land to everyone around the globe. Cleanup drives that are bound to reduce the unease experienced by our oceans. 
symposiums and seminars to increase awareness and gain fruitful ideas. Science trips and month-long celebrations to culminate the wonders of science and technology and how it helps to preserve the environment. As students, we may not have the finances or the political power to make things right. But as the youth of tomorrow, we have the power to advocate, to voice out, to reach out to everyone that this is an issue we need to address. We can become the vanguards of change, beacons to enlighten others. It is time to treat global climate change as a real threat to humanity's survival. It is time to change our ways and make sure that the world does change for the better. The Yeso Club of Valmasai, Philippines supports the Climate Action Project. Save our planet. Save our home.